Hello and welcome at ISORP Academy. In this tutorial, we will go through white labeling in ISORP server. Great feature which allows you to customize ISORP web applications interfaces to your needs. Do you want to have your own logo on login page, set different color or change background and set social media links to yours? No problem at all. You can do it in a few really simple steps. First of all, it's important to mention that you have two options at the beginning. You can decide whether to change the default values for all domains hosted on your ISOP server or customize each domain for its own needs. Whether you choose any option, you need to log in into the web admin. Here, you can decide. For several level customization, go to menu and select white labeling. For domain level, select users and domains, select domain you'd like to customize and here go to white labeling. Both of these levels have exactly the same options for customization and I will customize on server level. Let's start with my logo. Just upload it here and see how it's changed on the preview right here. Logo is in red, so red should be also the color of the skin. As you can see the preview is live, so you always see how it should look like. Let's move on on the background images. Oh wow, really nice pictures for backgrounds. Let's select uh, this one with beautiful Prague. Let's save it now. And check how it looked like. That was the default one. And now, let's see, oh, great looks much better. Excellent, seems much better for me. So let's have a look what else we can customize. All my users speaks in English, so I can disable language selection menu on login page. And for better security, I also remove the remember me checkbox. Sign up, by the way, is used to create new users on server. So if you plan to let users sign up to your domain, you can then easily select which fields will be required for signing up. And of course, you can also customize right here your own social media links here at the bottom of the page, which will then appear right here. I won't use them, so I will just disable them. Okay, so that was the login page. Now we can move on to web client skin. Here we can specify the page title, and beside of skin color, we can actually choose between several skins. Let's talk about them a little bit now. First is the banner skin. Specifically design it for ISPs and all customers who prefer to have some type of HTML content visible all the time above web client interface. Bigger skins are great not only for touch screens, but also for visually impaired. Last one, the default one is just a great basic skin. In the same way, we can continue as well to web admin skin, ice chat mobile skin. By the way, do you know what is ice chat? Ice chat is brand new Insta messaging client for smartphones. If you'd like to use it, just search for ice chat in your app store or visit a separated video guide with ice chat tutorial. And last part is dedicated to all those who'd like to configure banner ads for their interfaces. So that was the whole topic of white labeling and ISORP. I'm pretty sure that this powerful but user-friendly tool can help you a lot to customize your interfaces to your needs or just make them look better. Thank you for your attention and see you later. Bye. Okay, what else? Did you like this video? So leave us a thumbs up and subscribe so you won't miss any other. I also recommend you our next video, which is as well related to Icewarp. See you there. Bye.